Good evening, Florida Everblades fans, and welcome back to Hertz Arena for another meeting against the Orlando Solar Bears. Last night, the Blades picking up a 4-1 victory, and the Florida Everblades trying to win back-to-back -back games for just the second time this season. Last night, it was a strong start that got things going for Florida the right way. Two goals in the opening period, including a power play goal from Nathan Steos, got the Blades off to one of their best starts of the season. They kept it going, keeping the energy high throughout the rest of the game, and Orlando never really threatened to come back in that one. First star of the game, Mark Senden, had a goal and two assists leading the way. Nathan Steos also had a multi-point night with a goal and a helper. A number of players chipping in on the offense and Chris Ordebody scoring goals now in back-to-back -back games. Meanwhile, the Solar Bears have lost their last two games. The 4-1 loss last night was preceded by a 5-3 loss to the South Carolina Stingrays on Tuesday and is causing the Solar Bears to slip a little bit in the South Division standings. They've now fallen behind the Everblades into fifth in the South Division, potentially giving them flashbacks to last year where a rough start eventually led Orlando to missing out on the playoffs. This is a team that hasn't made it to the postseason since 2019, the longest active drought in the South Division, and they know that if they want to get back into the dance, they can't afford to have streaks like this continue. So expect the Solar Bears to come out with a lot of jump tonight. They did it before to the Blades earlier at Hertz Arena where Florida won in impressive fashion on a Wednesday game. Orlando was able to respond the next night with a big win for themselves. So expect Orlando to really show up tonight as a better squad than what we saw on Friday night. Three keys tonight for Florida presented by the Griffith Group of Downing Fry Realty. The first one going to be maintaining that energy from Friday night. They're going to need a little bit of help from the fans at Hertz Arena to do just that. But it was a strong, energized effort for Florida all throughout the game last night. You want to keep that going tonight. Also also, net front battles are going to be important, particularly in, in the offensive zone. Florida got a number of their goals off screens or rebounds, greasy goals last night. You want to do the same thing again. And it's always important to control the puck down low inside of the Solar Bears and Mark Sendon's highlight real goal at the end of the first period, a result of that. And with the Solar Bears having some big bodies on their back end, being able to control the puck below their goal line and find passes into the slot could be the difference tonight for another Everblades win. Tonight, the Florida Everblades looking to win back-to-back -back games for the first time since November 17th and 18th. Warm-ups and puck drop coming up next. We'll see you there.